and call it the top 10 reasons why people have come to Andrews University. Each year, we ask the resident assistants that are scattered here in the front to help us with a list of possible reasons. We've also asked the Student Association leadership to help us, and they have. And we want to also thank Andre Hokovoy, who's been responsible for putting the technical components of this presentation together. So here we are, and here are the results. Number 10, backed by popular demand. Students come to Andrews University for the four great seasons. It's the same foolish thing we say, but you always laugh, so. <laughs> Number nine, this is recommended to you by our faculty. As some of you returning students remember, last year, four outstanding biology professors retired after serving for 140 years of teaching at this institution, <laughs> collectively. We wanted to recognize them one more time by putting them in a place of permanent recognition. <laughs> Dr. Stout, Dr. Woodland, Dr. Shobatar, and Dr. Steen. Let's hear it for those four gentlemen. <laughs> Number eight, Andrews University is so remote <laughs> that NSA intelligent leaker Edward Snowden Ask Dr. Andreessen for asylum. <laughs> Number seven. Apparently, Andrews University students and faculty have had a hard time learning how to go about a roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> We, we have asked our provost, who is from England, to do, explain to us properly how you do this. It's very simple, my friends. If you're in the middle, you have right of way. And if you're not, you wait. <laughs> Number six reason why people come to Andrews University. A transfer student came to me and inquired as to why they continue to get parking tickets even though they were following the rules. <laughs> you may be liking it, but the people behind us are liking it even as much, if not more. Number five, the Andrews diet. Number four, last year the Andrews University Board agreed to build a new wellness center. There it is. However, due to continued economic downturn, we've had to modify our plan. <laughs> Number three. As you know, we have new management at the bookstore, but we are happy to inform you that they will continue to carry in the campus' favorite cologne. <laughs> Derriere. <laughs> Number two, a week ago, the provost learned firsthand that Campus Safety completed their new three-phase parking enforcement policy.
Is the provost laughing? I'm afraid to look. <laughs> Number one, as you know, Andrews University went to three graduations last May. This year, we're going to step further into streamlining our graduation. You see what happens when you get a bunch of bright students in a room, they give you lots of good ideas. Thank you, you all did a great job. On a more serious note, you're now part of the Andrews family of 11,000 students throughout the world, 3,500 on this campus, 600 faculty and staff, and 80,000 alumni around the world. We, the faculty and staff, commit ourselves to providing you the finest Christian education, and we want to wish you a good year.